you go hunting Osceola turkeys in the swamps of Florida and you begin to appreciate the name given to this bird, the Osceola turkey. Osceola was the great Seminole Indian warrior who proved extremely elusive and difficult to defeat for the American troops who were sent into these swamps during the Indian Wars of 1835. That is really a nice, mature bird. And it's really great here to be in Florida hunting with Osceolas. Look at that bird, he's probably a 20 pound bird. I'm happy, great morning. Hi, I'm Lincoln Godfrey down from Mountain Home, Arkansas hunting Osceolas with Ted Jaycox and Tall Tine Outfitters in Florida. Uh, put him in a bind this morning by only telling him I uh, had a day and a half to hunt, but we got four gobblers and a hen right off the roost this morning, and this three and a half year old bird is the result. Good homework, good preparation, very enjoyable hunt. Come give it a try. Good, good. It's a nice mature bird, Peter. A full fan, nice long beard. Mm -mm. Congratulations. Hey. That wasn't so hard, was it? No. Nice bird. Real sharp spurs. Three-year-old bird. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Congratulations. That was great. <laughs> Wow, nice turkey. He started periscoping a couple of times and yes. I don't know, opening the morning, it was hard not to pull that trigger. Look at those good black That's primary. That's a true Osceola. Nice bird. Jack Whitehurst and brother Bill, Ted, thank you for having us down here. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jack. You bet. Good job. Good job, good bird. Thank you, Ted. Thank you all That's so awesome. much. Uh, Ted and Ray and Dodd. This was terrific. Look at that fan. Heavy bird. Full fan. Good spurs. I believe you have killed a three-year-old bird. That Check this beard out. Yes, sir. How big do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. I'm not very good. I always look at the spurs, but yes, yeah, at least nine inches. Oh, that is so cool. But you've done it, baby. Thank you. I good appreciate job. it, guys. It was good a great job. hunt. Loved every minute of it. And I'm pumped. I got my first Osceola with you guys. <laughs> Really excited. Thank you. Let's go to the house. I'm we'll go ready. to the woods. I'm ready. <laughs> the next morning, Dodd fulfills his quest for a big Osceola gobbler. He calls this big bird in from all the way down the we cut got line. I got up and got my first Osceola. That's what we were after. So here he is. Good bird. Good, good beard. Maybe a 10 inch beard. Who knows? Thank you, Ted.
came up behind this one with three hens. He was about 150, 200 yards out when we first saw him, set up on the edge and called. And uh, 20 minutes later, the hens brought him right into range. It's a great hunt. I'd like to just thank Tall Tine Outfitters and the Whitehurst family for letting me come down to Florida, get my 2000 season off to a great start. Hey, there they are at the end of the field field on the left. All right, which one's the big one? I think the one in the lead. Another fantastic bird. Oh, oh what a great bird. Great. Congratulations, Brad. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. What a nice treat. Bird. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, partner. Great job. Appreciate that. Great job. Woo. Two good gobblers. That is an awesome old gobbler. Hey, guys. It's Jay and Cindy Osting here. We're down here hunting us yellow birds with uh, Tall Tine Outfitters. Um, Cindy and I were obviously pretty successful here, and uh, Cindy had a great hunt yesterday. Tall Tine Outfitters. Um, we, we had a great, great time. A lot of birds. Yes. So it's highly recommended for an Osceola bird. They're very difficult to hunt. And uh, we had uh, quite a few birds to work with. I was very surprised. And uh, Ted had some great property. So, Tall Tine Outfitters.